Hi, my name's Sandra, and I thought I would do a little video of um, what has been transpiring once my husband found a lump. Um, it, it's been a roller coaster for us, um, appointment after appointment, and um, it's been a bit of a journey for the past two months. So I thought this might help um, someone's friend, spouse, whoever's going through it, um, get ready for, uh, some preparation after seeing this video, you know, just see how it goes or whatnot. Um, so probably about a little over two months ago. So it is now, um, August, uh, 2018 and probably in about the beginning of June, maybe middle of June. Um, my husband went to scratch his neck, his right side, and he went, oh, I have a lump. And I um, said, oh, I get swollen lymph nodes every once in a while. Does it hurt? No, oh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, take some medicine. It should go away. Ibuprofen. And it didn't. And about a week later, and so if you put two fingers, it was about there. Like, for, if you put it on your jaw, and then it was just like right about there where the lymph node is. So anyway, he decided about a week later to go to urgent care. Um, urgent care put him on 14-day um, penicillin to see if that would take care of it. And um, also told him that he needed to go to his primary care um, physician to uh, follow up in a couple days if it wasn't going down. So that's what he did in a couple days. It was not going down. It got a little bit bigger, in fact. So then he went to, um, got there. She said, yeah, just finish up your antibiotics. In the meantime, we're going to take an x-ray of your jaw and your, your mouth to make sure that there's no abscesses or anything that um, would swell up the lymph node. X-rays came back. The nurse called and said everything looked fine on the x-ray. And um, so then they had him come back in for a full physical about a week later. Um, at that time, the lump was still there. The, his physical, everything came back great. The blood work came back fine. So um, she said he needed to go do an ultrasound. So this is when I decided, uh-oh, okay, we should, I should go with him. So we went to the ultrasound probably about... Um, two weeks later um, and so now we're getting into the, the more recent time so we went to the ultrasound and the tech was doing her thing and then she left and came back and said the doctor should get back to you by the end of today she didn't and it was a Thursday I think and we didn't hear anything Friday and then Monday, she, she, the doctor, tried to call three times and finally the third time got a hold of my husband, put us on speakerphone, he put us on speakerphone, and she said that um, there were some abnormal uh, findings in the ultrasound and that he needed to go to an ENT. So we got into the ENT pretty quickly. We saw the ENT about last week last Tuesday or Wednesday I believe yes and um, so the ENT didn't like what he was feeling put a scope down his nose and looked in his mouth and up in his nose he didn't see any infection there um, to be causing the lymph node swelling so then after that he um, let's see he said he needed to have a biopsy done so we called to get the biopsy scheduled in at the radiology department and that is um, that was scheduled for today Tuesday he's in there right now um, I'm not allowed to go in while they're doing a fine needle aspiration it's called and he is getting a biopsy done because that's the only way to determine if it's cancer um, but back up a little bit and on Saturday he was having pressure on the side of his face and a really bad headache on his right side. 
So we went in, we were, we called nurse, the nurse line and they suggested um, to go ahead and go into the emergency room. So we did and they did a CT scan. The CT scan of the head and neck um, sh didn't show any other symptoms, just there's um, the larger lymph node, which is like a five by five centimeter uh, mass. And then there's a small lymph node uh, swollen just under a centimeter that they're not too concerned of right now. But um, the CAT scan did show some malignant um, signs, I guess. Uh, the ER doctor point blank said, um, just brace yourself for a possible cancer diagnosis, which so did the ENT. The ENT was saying that uh, it's possible lymphoma because he has been um, extremely tired like tired like you have never seen anybody tired like he that guy can sleep now um he slept after the hospital from four o'clock until eight o'clock the next morning um and then slept more after that on sunday morning so throughout the day he's he gets pretty exhausted really easy so that's his main symptoms he has had a little bit of night sweats but it has been really hot here in San Diego um, and we don't have the best AC. And um, he also has a um, little bit of itchiness, but he thinks it's just dry skin. So I just let him have that. Uh, anyway, so um, he had lost five pounds from our visit, but it could be from the stress, we're not sure. Um, he's not eating very much, but again, um, I'm sure when you're going through that, I haven't really been eating either because I'm so stressed out for him. So anyway, the ER doctor said point blank, brace yourself for a possible cancer diagnosis and follow up with your ENT and take ibuprofen, I mean Tylenol for any pain or pressure because it's pressing on his muscle now. And um, so we are now here at radiology department um, downtown San Diego and um, I'm just waiting for him to be done they said it's gonna be about a 40 minute procedure I guess they take a long needle and um, uh, with a syringe at the end and they pull out tissues and then they'll send it off and supposedly we get the results in three to five days so we're hoping this week so we can move forward find out if it is in fact cancer if it's not then what we're going to do with this tumor if it is what we're going to do moving forward um right now it's just been kind of surreal and kind of um we want the world to stop with us and that doesn't happen we have three kids 22 17 and six years old so um this has been a pretty crazy journey and we've kind of been letting the close people uh closest people to us kind of know what we're going through so we can get some support um, with our six-year-old and uh, they know why we're like not returning calls or um, things like that uh, it's just been a little crazy and all we can focus on is this mass on the side of his neck really so um, I hope this helps anybody I know that YouTube um, sure helped me prepare for what was next and um, it's been pretty textbook or YouTube um, Every story has been similar to my husband's. We're hoping for a positive outcome that maybe it is just a benign tumor, um, but we're bracing ourselves for the worst and just praying for the best. We have a huge support system and um, I'll keep you posted and let you know if uh, what we find out. Um, later on today, he does have another appointment with his primary care physician, which is, I think, just a follow-up um, from Saturday's ER visit and for her to discuss the CAT scan, I think. So if it's anything other than that, I'll, uh, do a quick video for you guys. Anyway, um, thanks for watching and this is my very first video ever. So hope it works.